A few years ago, I was walking with a friend in the Muir Woods, which is just close to San Francisco. It's a redwood forest. We came upon a park ranger, and he was explaining to some tourists the secret of the forest. He told that the sequoia and redwood trees are the largest trees on the planet. Some of them are hundreds or even thousands of years old. But interestingly, their roots do not grow deep. And then he told that these trees have been standing for centuries and centuries, enduring massive windstorms, frigid blizzards, devastating earthquakes. And without deep roots, how do they keep standing? Then the ranger paused so that we could ponder this mystery. Revealed to us the underground secret of the redwood forest. And being from the 60s, I like underground things, so I was very attentive. He said that the roots under the ground, they reach outward, seeking the roots of other redwood trees. And when they meet, they intertwine making a permanent bond with each other. In this way, all the redwood trees in the entire forest are either directly or indirectly giving support to each other. Unity is their strength. They reach out to care for each other. And even the little newborn baby redwoods, its little tiny roots, are given shelter by the ancient giants. In the Muir Woods, nature is giving humanity a very crucial lesson, that our real strength is in our willingness to care for and support each other. We are caretakers of divine property. Wisdom is to understand the simple universal principle that in giving we receive. By getting things, we make a living. By giving, we make a life. The spiritual evolution of a society can be understood when people love people and use things. But all too often, in today's world, it's just the opposite. People use people. And they love things.